Guys, there are five things that I would love to do that are on my bucket list, and they are number one, fun, and you can learn new dances, new songs, you can just learn new skills even. And I just do that all throughout my hair. Hey guys, it's Rosie and welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, I am going to be showing you guys 10 things to do in lockdown. So, I know most of you are in lockdown or in quarantine and you're probably very bored. So, I really hope this video helps you. So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos just like this one. And also, stay all the way till the end. Stay tuned all the way till the end to see me build like a fault slash den. Let's get on with the video. So guys, Saffron Barker has started a trend where she gives all of her revenue from the month of April to the NHS charity. So I thought I'd tag along and give all of my revenue from this video to the NHS charity as part of the hashtag YouTubers for NHS Heroes. Love you all and thank you so much to the NHS. You are doing amazing. So guys, the first thing that you could do is make TikToks. So I love making TikToks because they are so fun and you can learn new dances, new songs, you can just learn new skills even. And you can be yourself basically on the app because there's no judgement. So the next thing that you could do guys is you could actually clear up, even though it's quite boring, you probably have like a lot of time on like your hands that you're probably quite bored, so clearing up like is actually like a really good thing to do. As you can see I do put stuff out to make like TikToks so that it like holds my phone and also I got ready this morning but I didn't actually clear up my vanity so I do need to do that so another thing you can do is clear up. You can clear out your room if you have time, which you probably do. And whilst you're doing that, you can also clean out your wardrobe and get rid of all these clothes that you probably don't need or that you've grown out of. So another thing that you can do in lockdown is actually make a Corona face mask. So all you need for that is one square of kitchen roll. You'll need two hair bands or just anything stretchy like rubber bands. Maybe even like a shoelace if you want to tie it behind your ear. And then you'll need a stapler with at least two staples in it. So the first thing that you need to do with your kitchen roll is fold it up. So how you'd like make a fan in like primary school. So what you do is you fold it one way and then you fold it the other way. And you just keep on repeating that until you get to the end. And it doesn't have to be like the prettiest thing in the world because obviously it's meant to keep you safe so it doesn't have to look pretty, it's just meant to keep you safe. So once it is all folded over like that and it looks kind of like a fan, you'll need to get one of these hair bands and put the hair band in like this and then get your staple and staple this like that so that that stays and then it, you'll just do that to the other side as well obviously it probably doesn't look like the prettiest thing that you've seen but like it will keep you safe and that's really all that matters so guys this is how it looks so far obviously it doesn't look like a mask right now because you need to fan it out um but i have actually put two staples in at the end of both of them so i've got four staples on here but be sure to probably get some help if you don't feel confident using staples. But now what you have to do is just push that out like that. Push the fanning out. Put it over your nose and your mouth. My mask is done guys, but I'm not wearing it today because I don't have to go out. So the fourth thing that you could actually do is write a diary about like the coronavirus which is what I've been doing, I've been keeping track of the days, 
But I've already done that and I am now going to write a bucket list which is another good idea. Guys, there are five things that I would love to do that are on my bucket list and they are number one, skydiving over the palm on my 18th birthday. Number two is bungee jumping, literally anywhere in the world. Number three is Six Flags theme park. I'd absolutely love to go there. Number four is scuba diving in the Bahamas because literally it is so beautiful there. And number five is to live with my friends slash my cousins. Number five, so something that you can also do, which is probably not that like productive, but it's very nice. You can chill and watch Netflix because that always like calms me down and it's also like just really good to watch Netflix. And firstly, I need to put my blinds down before I do that because then I go into like cinema mode because if it's in the daytime, it's easier to keep the TV. I'm probably only gonna put like that many down because then it's still light. So the things that I like to watch on Netflix are Pretty Little Liars. I'm on the last episode, on the last season, and I need to find out who A is. And then I also have just watched like the whole series of Stranger Things, and I really recommend it, it's so good. So guys, another thing that you could actually do whilst in lockdown is take cute selfies because literally I'm pretty sure most of you have a phone and can like take selfies. So just find like a window or just somewhere with really good lighting and then take some selfies. Because this is the window that I always go to and it has such good lighting which I love. As you can see. Number seven is getting some fresh air. So I know that most of you probably don't even have a garden. So I think you're allowed like one walk a day. And even if you don't want to go a walk, just get some fresh air by like even opening your window, just get some fresh air. I'm lucky enough to have a, um, a garden, but our back garden is actually under construction. My dad is doing some work in there. So we've got this tiny little garden here, but it's still enough that we have brought this kind of swing chair round and I can chill in this so I'm getting some fresh air in this lovely weather okay guys so number eight would have to be do something with your hair so you guys might have seen my mini fridge in my like 24 hours in my room um, but basically I've got my beauty stuff in here sometimes I have like food in here but right now I have my beauty stuff and today I'm going to do hair chalk on my hair obviously and there's loads of different colours all the rainbow basically the whole entire colours of the rainbow and I'm just going to do a few strands of my hair so I'm just going to split my hair up like this and I'm going to use blue today and what I do is I just clip the blue on there and then I press it down like that and it should come out like so. And I just do that all throughout my hair like that. And then that's that in my hair. And then I can do all different colours. So I'm probably going to do like a pink one this side. Get a strand of my hair. Put some pink in. I've done that at the bottom, that looks really cool. I think I'm just gonna do a few more off camera and then I'll show you the final results. I got these cool chalks from Argos, which is my local store, and they are so kind to your hair and they also wash out easily. But if you don't have chalk, you can just curl your hair or, or do all crazy hairstyles with your hair. 
So number nine would be pamper yourself. So let's go back into my mini fridge. And today I'm probably just going to do a face mask. This is called Rosy Cheeks from Lush. And pampering yourself basically means you can do your nails, you can do your hair, literally do anything that makes you feel good. And I'm going to be doing a face mask as I said. It is nice and cold as it has been in my mini fridge. So I've got to put it on my face. So guys, I've moved to my vanity so that I can see myself putting it on better. Um, but this feels really nice. It's like all cold and everything. So I'm just using my finger to apply it. You can use like a brush or anything, but I'm using my finger because it's just easier. So I do have a headband on to keep my hair out of my face so that I don't get face mask in my hair. Um, but it's actually going on really smoothly, which is really nice. Guys, my face mask is done and it's meant to be like a clay mask. So obviously it doesn't look very good, but it makes my skin feel amazing. So. Now it's time to wash it off. Guys, it's time for number 10, which is make a den slash fault. So, I'm making like a whole massive den out of these two settees or couches, and I am pushing them together. So, let's do that. First thing I need to do is move this buffet out of the way. My mum's got to help me with this because the leg has just came off. Don't tell dad. We can't tell dad, he's outside. one like massive bed it kind of reminds me you know what like baby sleeping like a crib or like a cot it's like that but like just giant <laughs> and I love it <gasps> so I'm going to keep all of these pillows in here for like the cozy effect but I'm also going to add a cover or a blanket and I can go to sleep or watch telly. I've got to turn, got to turn the other way. <laughs> so guys, I really hope this video helped you being in quarantine slash lockdown. Also, just a quick disclaimer, if you are going to move like your parents or guardian setting, please make sure you have permission because the leg fell off of mine, but I did have permission, so it's okay. Um, but I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos just like this one. Love you all. Bye. I'm so tall I can touch the ceiling. Woohoo. Ready? Ready? Three, two, one. Oh my gosh! <laughs>